Hello and welcome to the session in which we would look at consignment arrangement as part of the revenue recognition process. In a consignment arrangement, we have two parties. We have a consignor and a consignee. For the purpose of this illustration, we're going to assume that PepsiCo is the consignor and Walmart is the consignee. Who is the consignor? It's the party that transferred the goods not the title to the consignee. Simply put, PepsiCo will transfer, physically transfer their product and they place their product in Walmart store for resale. Although they place their product in Walmart store where Walmart has physical possession, the titles never ch did not change. PepsiCo still have the title for its own product. So the consignor, PepsiCo will retain its title. PepsiCo places the goods for resale, simply put, all what's happening here, you can look at it as an arrangement to rent the shelf. So all what Walmart providing is the space, giving PepsiCo the space shelves to place their product. Once goods are sold, Walmart will submit the proceeds from the sale minus a commission as a revenue for Walmart. So nothing will happen, really. No sale will take place until Walmart sells the product to a third party, to a customer. Walmart will take a small commission and will submit the proceeds the remaining to PepsiCo. So PepsiCo will only recognize the revenue when the goods are sold to a third party. And what we mean by third party here is someone other than Walmart because well, Walmart did not buy the product from PepsiCo. Because if the product are not sold, simply put, Walmart will return the product to PepsiCo and there's no sale for PepsiCo. So PepsiCo will have to wait until a customer walks into Walmart, buys the, buys the product and walks out. Now what is the cons, who's the consignee? Well, we said the consignee is Walmart. The consignee accept the transfer of the goods but not the title. Although they have, they possess the physical inventory, that inventory cannot be counted as part of Walmart's inventory. So simply put, when Walmart counts their inventory, they cannot count PepsiCo product as part of their inventory. And Walmart's will make a commission, which is, this is when they recognize the revenue, when they make the sale. And when they make the sale, also PepsiCo will make the sale as well. So in a sense, Walmart will take title for a few seconds when they when the person walk with the product give it to the cashier the cashier scan it in that split second walmart takes title sells it then give the proceeds back to pepsico it doesn't happen automatically i mean it does it could happen automatically in a software system but we're not going to assume it's going to happen automatically actually we're going to look at an example to see how this process worked by using journal entries but before we look at journal entries and an example i would like to remind you whether you are a student or a cpa candidate to take a look at my website farhatlectures.com i don't replace your cpa review course i don't replace your accounting courses my motto is saving accounting students and cpa candidate one at a time by providing new resources lectures multiple choice true false questions that's going to help you understand the material better and do better on your exam this is a list a partial list of my accounting courses my cpa material is aligned with your becker roger gleam wiley miles or any other cpa review course i give you access to 1500 previously ai cpa released questions with detailed solution if you have not connected with me on linkedin please do so take a look at my linkedin recommendation like this recording share it with others it helps me tremendously connect with me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and I just started a CPA exam support group on GroupMe. Please join us. Let's take a look at this example to illustrate sales on consignment or consignment arrangement. Let's assume PepsiCo shipped product cost, costing $360,000 on consignment to Walmart. Well, that's what happened first. PepsiCo pays $20,000 of freight sales. So they pay $20,000 to get the product to Walmart. Walmart, from their part, they're gonna pay $5,000 in advertising costs to promote PepsiCo product. However, the advertising cost will be reimbursed by PepsiCo. By the end of the period, Walmart sold two thirds of the consigned merchandise, two thirds of 360,000 for 320,000 in cash. Then Walmart notifies PepsiCo of the sales, retired 10% commission and sends the cash proceeds to PepsiCo. So let's take a look at the journal entries step by step. From the shipment of goods from PepsiCo to Walmart. When we ship the goods, PepsiCo will 
debit an account called inventory consignment and they will credit finished goods they're basically both inventory all what they're indicating here that the inventory left pepsico warehouse and now it's part of our inventory of pepsico inventory but it's on consignment in walmart what would walmart what would walmart do under those circumstances basically no entry what will what will walmart do is basically make a note a memo knowing that you know make sure don't count pepsico inventory as part of our inventory then pepsico paid twenty thousand dollar for freight cost remember freight in it's part of the inventory cost therefore walmart um, sorry pepsico will debit inventory we're going to make it thirty thousand um pepsico paid thirty thousand we're going to debit inventory thirty thousand credit cash thirty thousand what will walmart do practically nothing yet they have nothing to do with anything now payment of advertisement costs now walmart did incur five thousand dollars so what they did when they send their weekly uh, offers they just had a special offer for pepsico and they had to pay five thousand dollars for that advertisement that's fine and that five thousand dollar pepsico will reimburse them for it simply put pepsico told them you have five thousand dollar budget advertise as you see fit and will reimburse you what will pepsico do under those circumstances for the five thousand dollar nothing yet on the other hand, Walmart paid the 5,000, they will credit cash and they will debit a receivable from PepsiCo. Why? Because PepsiCo is going to reimburse them for that money. Now the sale took place. Now the customers bought the product. Well, as of right now, there's no entry for PepsiCo. For Walmart, they will debit cash. They sold them for 320, they will debit cash 320 and they will debit cash and they will credit payable to pepsico 320 so this money is belongs to pepsico as far as walmart is concerned they're going to take a cut of it but part of it the majority will be for walmart uh, for pepsico now we're going to see how much money we are going we're, we're going to be sending to pepsico pepsico okay so we received three hundred and twenty thousand. here's what's going to happen first we're going to keep we means Walmart will keep five thousand dollar for the advertisement. Then they will keep ten percent of three hundred and twenty thousand times ten percent. They will keep another thirty two thousand as a commission cost. So what's going to happen is this. So we're going to be let's take a look at the calculator and so three hundred and twenty. That's how much they received in cash. Minus five thousand dollar. They're going to be reimbursed. Minus thirty two thousand is basically their commission. They're going to give. They're going to send to PepsiCo two hundred and eighty three thousand. So PepsiCo will do the following. They will debit cash two hundred eighty three thousand. They will debit advertising expense, which is that's when they expense it. They will debit commission expense because they had to pay commission to to walmart thirty two thousand, and they will credit revenue the total revenue is 320 so although the total revenue is 320 really they had they had two additional expenses the five thousand and the thirty two thousand so now their net net sales two hundred eighty three thousand although they sold three hundred and twenty but their net sales for now is two hundred and eighty three walmart when they submit the 283,000, I showed you how to complete this. When they submit this money, they will debit this payable to get rid of this payable. They will debit payable to PepsiCo because now they submitted the money. They will they will credit the 5,000 of receivable because PepsiCo now told them to keep the money. So they will credit this receivable to remove it. And they will credit commission revenue to recognize 32,000 of commission revenue. So this is the entry that Walmart will make. So at this point, Walmart would record. So notice what's happening. This revenue for Walmart, the 32,000 is an expense for PepsiCo. And the 5,000 that, that, uh, that Walmart pay on behalf of PepsiCo it's recorded as, as five thousand expense on on uh, on PepsiCo books. So simply put, Walmart made thirty two thousand, which is ten percent. Now, now we have to also record cost of goods sold for PepsiCo because PepsiCo they only sold what well, not only sold they sold two third uh, two third of their goods. They still have one third. Simply put, we have to remove two third of Two third of what? So we have to remove two third of three hundred and sixty thousand times two third 
is 240. Then, Wal uh, then PepsiCo also incurred 30,000 in, uh, in, in freight in. Two third of 30,000 is 20,000. Hopefully we know this. So our cost of goods sold is 260. And now I remember why I changed this number from 20 to 30, because we assumed we sold um, we sold two thirds, so it's easier to do two thirds for thirty thousand. Okay, so now with debit cost of goods sold to sixty, credit inventory consignment we reduce our inventory consignment account by two sixty. Now we can say, well, after we deduct the cost of goods sold, so let's let's make cost of goods sold in a different color, two hundred and sixty thousand. All in all, PepsiCo made gross profit, gross profit of. 23,000 on this on this arrangement made, made 23,000 if we take 23,000 divided by 320 it's approximately we made approximately 7% net profit 7% well we can say we can call it net profit assuming we have no other no other operating expenses okay so this is basically the arrangement and and Walmart doesn't do anything for adjusting inventory and cost of goods sold because it's not their inventory so all in all this is how you this those are the journal entries that you are expected to know for arrangement goods on consignment what should you do now go to farhatlectures.com look register subscribe work MCQs and look at other resources to reinforce those concepts invest in your accounting career invest in your CPA education don't shortchange yourself it's worth it yes it is difficult it's challenging but at the end of the day it's gonna pay you it's gonna pay off good luck study hard and of course stay safe